Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So how do you motivate yourself? It's one thing if we can get others to motivate us, and that's nice, and you can look for motivation on YouTube. There's thousands and thousands of videos, but we can't always be popping up YouTube videos every time we need a little bit of motivation. Motivation comes from within. It comes from your own head. It comes from the self-talk. It comes from that little voice in your head. You may have a bunch of voices, and you need to be able to start practicing the quieting down all the useless ones. Not all the things that you chatter about in your head are worth a shit or worth listening to. 99% of the stuff that you're talking about inside there is useless crap and is worth just releasing. And there's all kinds of ways that you can do it rather than holding on to those thoughts and thinking them. Sometimes you can't stop yourself from thinking, but you can stop yourself from holding on to thoughts. And that becomes a steady stream of consciousness. That becomes more powerful where Little voices may come up and you may say, I don't like that guy's shirt or whatever the bullshit you're thinking about all day long. But that doesn't stay lingering around like a stench in the bathroom. It, it, it just goes away. It dissipates into the air. And the way that you practice this is to focus on the proper voices. The proper voices are voices that will motivate you, that will empower you, that are positive. Anything that isn't motivational, positive, and empowering is not worth listening to. So you always want to pay attention to those and to not pay much attention to the others. And then what happens inside your brain, you have neurological pathways, circuitry pathways, like, like a circuit board. And the, the, the areas that you pay attention to grow, the areas that you don't, that you don't focus on, that you're not using much, they, they weaken. So it's a good way to become a positive person, but positive thinking person in general. To be a positive thinking person just generally is a great goal to attain because people like that have more motivation within them to be productive. I promote a mind, body, and soul lifestyle that has been promoted for thousands and thousands of years. Of course, this is 2020 and we put our twist on it because we have access to science and to stuff that people back in the old days didn't have. So, but the theories are the same. It's all about mind, body, and soul. It's been proven to work. I've been using this. I live by it and I am living proof that this program works. You can get over addiction, PTSD, uh, depression, eating disorders, anxiety, panic attacks, all things that I've had. I speak from experience. When I talk, I talk from experience. I'm not just pulling shit out of the air. These are all things that I've suffered from and that I've conquered. And this is what keeps me going every single day. I go seven days a week. I'm always doing something. No matter what, I got three areas to choose from, mind, body, and soul. And I don't just choose one on a Monday because it's mind and then Tuesday because it's body. I do them all every day. But with our lifestyles, with health issues, with all kinds of shit that goes down, sometimes you have to readjust. And the beauty of having a triumvirate, a triangle with three corners on it, with mind, body, and soul in each corner, is that, say, for example, if you're going through extreme health issues, you may not be able to be in the gym hitting the weights all the time. I promote working out. I think that everybody should work out with weights. I think that you should do explosive athletic exercises to keep you strong, to keep your animal body, we never forget we're animals, and to keep your body strong. But if you can't do that because of some sort of health issue, like my mother right now is going through cancer, she can't be in the gym like I want her to be, she's a 68 year old woman, but she can still do some things, she can still walk, she can still be on her treadmill, she can still do a, a certain... Uh, battery of body movement exercises. Uh, so this is all great. You can at least still do it. And then the other areas she can increase and she can focus more on the, 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 if, she, if the body isn't as powerful that week, you can for, for really put more energy into the soul and uh, into the mind and make sure that you're always on something. You're always moving forward. The motivation comes from within. And you have to give yourself a lifestyle that has to be important to you. I go to the gym and work out. I eat healthy and uh, try to live this lifestyle for specific reasons. If I don't eat healthy, my numbers go up when I get my blood tests at the doctors. I already had last year 
high blood sugar. So I had to get on top of it, the empty carbs, the, the pastries, the candy bars, all that kind of bullshit. I had to get on top of that. That's for me. I don't want to get diabetes. I don't want to end up fucked up when I'm older. I'm 49 years old. I don't want to be fucked up. I want to be healthy. I needed to get on top of that shit anyways. It was just a kick in the ass that I needed. Take your diet seriously. Make it a lifestyle. Don't just pound something and eat fat foods and get fat and say, ah, whatever, this tastes good. I'll just eat it. Think about nutrition. Think about those doctor's visits. How many, how many doctor's visits do you want when you're in your 50s and 60s and 70s? How much do you want to die from some bullshit that you could have survived and be sitting on your deathbed like, uh, oh, well, I guess I just should have eaten less cheeseburgers. Too bad I'm such a fat piece of shit. I could have avoided this, but I didn't. What kind of lesson are you teaching to others around you, right? Do you have kids? Are you teaching them to be unhealthy? Are they watching you through your nutrition and through your lack of diet and good habits? Are, 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 you're not teaching them? Think about all this stuff. Use this type of stuff to motivate you so the next time you want to just cop out and be lazy and eat some bullshit, some terrible food that's just going to make you fat, make you depressed, no protein in it, no nutritional value in it, a bunch of empty carb bullshit. Next time you think about putting that in your system, think about what you're doing, not only to your own body, to your future, and to the uh, progress that you're trying to make if you're working out. You can't eat shit food. You have to eat good food in order for that to matter. You can work out six days. I'll put you on a program for six days a week and bust your ass, make you sweat, make you work out like a, a, a machine, like a madman. It's not going to do anything if you don't get on your nutrition. So this is just one example of how you motivate yourself. So you think about what's driving me here. What, what brought me to this place to begin with? I want to eat well. Sky, I, I need to eat well. Can you help me with this? Yes, I can help you with that. But you have to be able to stay on top of it every day because I don't live with you. I'm not in your house. I'm not being able to be at your, at your bedside and be like, get up at 4.30 in the morning. Go do some burpees. Now we're going to have a healthy breakfast and this is how we start our day every day. I'm not your drill sergeant. You have to be your own inner drill sergeant. And that comes from your self-talk, that savage self-talk that motivates you. I tell myself when I'm at the gym, come on, you fucking pussy, do it more, do it more. I'm not trying to bring myself down with that. I'm trying to motivate myself because I know what I used to look like. I know what it's like to be a weak, unhealthy, sickly motherfucker. I know what it's like to have such a weak immune system that you're getting sick all the time. I know what that's like. So I'm in the gym and I don't ever want to go. I'm not skipping to the gym. Some people do. That's not me. Go ask the people that work out at Gold's Gym over here where, where I live. They, they all know me. Everybody knows me. I'm up there six days a week. I'm not the most motivated guy in the room. I hate the gym, but I go. I push myself to go. I force myself to do it. I know what it's like to be a pussy. I know that if I spend too much time away, I atrophy. I know that I have to keep moving forward all the time in order to be making progress. It's all about consistency and frequency. Just like anything in your life, you want to achieve any goals in your life. It's about consistency and frequency. How consistent you are with the work you put in and how frequent you are with the work you put in. And you always have to be moving forward. You never reach a plateau. As soon as you realize that things are evening off, you take that next step. Your whole life is going to be a series of first steps. So this is the type of way that you motivate yourself is through that inner savage self-talk, the ways that you get yourself going, get yourself up in the morning, you realize you can't sleep all day, you can't be a lazy bum, you have to get shit done, you can't miss out on your laundry, you tell your friends, well, sorry, I can't go to the bar, I gotta do laundry, I don't have anything to wear for work tomorrow, I can't show up to work in stinky clothes. You know this, and you prioritize that, but somehow, when it comes to doing other things for your life, it gets to be so easy to cop out with our diet with our, uh, uh, our positivity, with staying on top of our negativity and staying on top of our self-talk, with our, our exercise. We can get into it one day. We're looking a little bit fat in the mirror. We see we've got some man titties and a belly. And we're like, you know what? I'm going to do some push-ups. And we do push-ups one morning. And then the next morning, we're kind of done with it. Uh, I guess I'm just fine like this. You can motivate yourself. But you have to be able to be in a positive state. When you're in a positive state, it's not as hard to push yourself. I never want to go to the gym. There's many times, say for example, I promote reading and I promote all kinds of mind, body, and soul uh, activities as a lifestyle, not as hobbies. 
I read every single day. I feel like it's important. It's not only important just to learn and, and to, to learn the material, but it's important to be able to use the different sides of your brain and to be able to use an analytical and an artistic side to be able to exercise your brain is just like any other muscle in your body. If you don't use it, if you don't work out with it, you atrophy, you become stupid. Go look around you. There's lots of stupid people around you and it's just because they don't use their brain. The more you practice using your brain in different areas, the smarter you get. Anybody, you can take any living human creature and teach them and they can become smart and all they have to do is put in the work so we all have the potential and capacity to be great every single person does they teach you this in Christianity I believe this I believe that every single person has a potential inside them to be great and that's why it frustrates me when I see people that can't seem to put in the work they can't seem to get it done they, they, they maybe they want to and I want them to but we can't, I, you know, I can't force you to. I can't force food down your throat. I can't force you to, to go to the gym and to move your arms for you. You have to be able to be an active participant in the process. You have to be able to get that ball rolling, to push that ball down the hill. That comes from you. And we're all going to sit and watch you do it. Or we'll watch you atrophy and fail. And it is all on you when it comes down to it. And people say, motivate me. And motivate me. I can do my best. And I try my best sometimes when I'm talking to people of, you can do it, you can do it. But the you can do it's only lasts so long. They go in one ear and out the other because you're blocking it. And that you can do it when it's coming from you, from the inside, when you say, I can do it. I can do this. That's when you actually start moving. That's when shit starts happening. That's when you move fucking mountains. That's when you start businesses. That's when you become great. That's when you rise to the top. That's how Michael Jordan's and Muhammad Ali's are, in, are created is through the I can do it. It's one of the most powerful, magical things that you can say. But you have to have the motivation behind you to get there. And what is that? Look at yourself now. There's always a place that you want to be forward. I want to be better tomorrow than I am today. I see my flaws. I recognize the positivity, but I see my flaws more than anybody else. We all do. We're all our own worst critics. And that doesn't have to bring you down. You don't have to use that to beat yourself up like, like you're lashing yourself. Use that to kick yourself in the ass to motivate you. Be your own drill sergeant. Get to work. You can do it. I know I can. Thanks for watching.